Welcome, everybody. We're here at the SBC Center in San Antonio. Bob Steele here with Rod West at my side. Let's take a quick look at the starters tonight. Who's going to shine out there, Rod? Tony Parker has a nice little inside shot. I'm going to be watching him to see if he's able to take advantage of it out there on the floor. Okay, Rod. Now let's head to center court for the player introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention courtside for the player introductions. First for the New Jersey Nets. At center, Dikembe Mutombo. At forward, Kenya Martin. Also at forward, Richard Jefferson. At guard, Kerry Kittles. Also at guard, Jason Kidd. And now, the starting lineup for your San Antonio Spurs. At the center position, out of Navy, seven foot one, number 50, David Robinson. At forward, out of Cal State Fullerton, six foot seven, number 12, Bruce Bowen. At the guard position, out of Michigan State, Six foot eight, number eight, Steve Smith. Also at guard from France, six foot two, number nine, Tony Parker. Also at forward, out of Wake Forest, seven feet. Number 21, Tim Duncan! The Nets get the opening tip. Slice! Kid passes it. Pick him up. Stay in, stay in. They work it in, tosses it back out. Martin is looking for the ball. Seven on the shot clock. The ball's loose. It unloads from about 20 feet out. Gets back iron and out. Kittles has a first-rate mid-range game. Even though he missed that one, he has to keep taking that shot. Robinson has it. The inside shot was buried by Robinson. Robinson gets the bucket, but he's a beneficiary of one heck of an assist right here. That's what a good teammate does. He gets you the ball right in the spot where you're most comfortable. And after that, it's up to you to knock it down. And that's what he does right here. Jefferson with the inbound. Ball, ball, ball. The Nets have the ball in a small deficit. 2-0. to zero. Stolen. It's one-on-one. -on -one. Passes. Elevates. Goes pass in the lane. Kid passes the ball. Watch the screen. Two and four, five. Fires from the right block. Gets nothing but net. Get him. 47 seconds here in the first quarter. 34 counter. It's going inside. I don't know. Passes. Seven on the shot clock. At the foul line, he heard the whistle, touched it on the way down. That's goaltending. Count the basket. Jefferson inbounds the ball. 26 seconds here in the first quarter. Passes it. Two up, two up. Skies. Smith is going to be hit with the blocking call. That's his first foul of the game. First team foul. He gets the first of two. He gets them both. Ball, ball, ball. 
11 seconds here in the first quarter. Pick him up. Goes with the crossover. Puts it on. Parker is such a double threat. He can use that crossover to take the ball to the rim or pull up on you just like he does here. Rod, how long has that move been around? Bobby, the crossover move has been around since the late 60s. Though most NBA fans think it's something that Tim Hardaway or Allen Iverson invented. Martin with the inbound. Ball, ball, ball. Heaves this one from half court. Can't get the buzzer beater. There's the horn, and at the end of one, it's 8-4. to four. The Spurs have the lead after one period, Rod. What's been the key stat as far as you're concerned? Field goal percentage, Bob. They're definitely doing a better job in finding the open man, and that's why they've got a nice little lead. Get him! I got him. Parker passes. Ooh. Caught by Robinson. Shoots. Gets it to fall. Bobby, that's the kind of shot he likes, and you can see why. Give him two points. The Nets bring it up. They're shooting 25% from the floor. Passes. I got him. Kittles has the ball. Double down. Gets stopped by Robinson. Seven seconds to shoot. Score the bucket. That's going to be goaltending. Duncan throws it in. The Spurs are at the controls. They're four out of their last five from the floor. Passes it. They push it inside. Duncan takes a wide open shot. Gets it to fall. He's money from there. Just wide open on the outside. And I'll tell you, it's all about fundamentals after that. Set, spot, release, and follow it through. 54 seconds here in the second quarter. Kid passes it. Passes. Seven on the shot clock. Gets airborne. Gets the lay-in. Jason Kidd. I got 34 seconds here in the second quarter. Pitch, pitch. Passes it. Bowen rises up. Gets the land. Pretty good from there, Bobby. Great release. Kid is at the controls. He's one out of his last four from the floor. Now in the paint. Martin fades away inside. Bounces off the left rim and out. Tipped up, but not in by Matumbo. Nice rebound by the 14-year man out of Navy. Duncan is hacked and will go to the line for a couple. He gets the first of two. He gets them both. Martin inbounds the ball. Kid works it up court. He's shooting 50% from the floor. We've reached halftime with the score 16 to 8. Let's go studio side. Here's Clark's recap of the first half. Welcome to the ESPN Halftime Update. It's time for a quick review of the numbers from the first two quarters. The Spurs have a sizable advantage in the field goal percentage category, and that's why they're winning. Expect them to continue looking for the high percentage shots in the second half. David Robinson in the first half has a total of six points. That makes him our Sega Sports Hot at the Half player. That's our halftime report. Make sure to tune in to the ESPN Post Game Show at the conclusion of the game. Let's send it back to Bob and Rod. Smith dishes it off. What the pick? Slice. Grab by Duncan. Duncan fires from the post. Get doesn't down. get it all the way Let's there. Go. Duncan is a proud Who's warrior push? inside, so he has to be a little humbled when he blows an easy one like that. Ball, ball, ball. They tied inside. Passes. It unloads from 10 feet out. Can't nice get shot. it to drop. Dikembe Mutombo has the uncanny ability to blow even the easiest shots inside, and that's sad. Passes it. There's 
the steal. Passes. Ball, ball, ball. Passes it. Iso, Iso. Seven seconds to shoot. Bounce pass. Takes the turnaround, Jay. Nice pressure. Can't drop the lightly contested shot. Kid has a decent mid-range jumper, so that's a good shot, even though it didn't fall for him. Get him. The finger roll land was blocked by Duncan. Duncan. Hit by Duncan. Great second chance opportunity. He fought for position and made the play. Jefferson with the inbound. Kid brings it up. He's two of five from the floor. Screen coming. Pin down, pin down. Kid gets up. Down it goes. Kid. Nice finger roll. Pick him up. The Spurs work it up court. They're three out of their last six from the floor. Launches from beyond the arc. Catches in for a double-digit ball game. Smith didn't have to rush that three because no one was near him. He just zoned in and let it fly. Kid with a bucket here. He can get his 10th point of the game. Kittles now has it. In low. Martin puts it up. Bounces yeah, yeah. it off the short side and in. Pretty even matchup down there with this one going to the offense. Nice shot. 12 seconds here in the third quarter. Takes the quick shot. Takes up his fifth point of the quarter. He's got five in the game. Smith didn't like what he saw there at first, so he gives a little pump fake to get a better look. It works like a charm here, too. And after the fake, just lines up for the J and drops it in, Rod. Martin throws it in. Kid has the ball. He's two out of his last six from the floor. Kid launches from beyond the arc. He bounces off the left rim and out. We've just finished the third quarter. The score, 23 to 12. The Spurs are still up large after three. What's been the important stat thus far, Rod? Assists, Bob. They're really showing what a good passing team they are. They're clicking together offensively and have the advantage on the scoreboard. An unselfish team is always at an advantage. Lob to the paint. A low Never post ready. shot was dropped in Kittles. by Kittles. Kittles set himself up perfectly to complete the alley-oop. He gets oh, the oh, basket, oh. but don't forget about how good that pass was. Parker passes the ball. Watch the baseline. Lobbed it. The spur head into the front court. They're shooting 83% from the floor. Seven on the shot clock. Tim Duncan has now Duncan. hit double figures. Tim Duncan is going with the dunk all the way. No hesitation. Kid is at the controls. He hasn't hit a shot from the arc. Inside pass. Matumbo puts it up inside. Puts too much on it. He's no MVP on the inside. And I think the usually tough defense might be underestimating. Based on that shot, they ought to. Rod, you have to explain to me how that happened on the replay. A simple but effective pump fake gets him enough room to bury the J. That's a clever move. I figured you'd like this play, Rod. He just nails the shot after shaking his man loose with a nice pump fake. You figured me right, Bob. Call me old-fashioned, but a simple, effective move to get to the bucket? Who can't love that? Matumbo inbounds the ball. Kid works it up court. He's zero out his last two from the arc. Passes. In the paint. They work it in. Left side pass. Seven seconds to shoot. Pin down, pin down. Stolen. Nice grab to get the possession. And that was all ball, too. The That's finger okay. roll lay-in was boxed by Smith. Bought for it and got it. And next, we'll take a time out here. Benson. Time out next. Kittles makes the pass. The one-handed dunk was stuffed down by Martin. Martin made sure he wasn't coming away empty-handed by throwing it down. 41 seconds here in the game. Hard, hard. Passes it. Smith gains some altitude. Matumbo gets called for the block. That's his first foul of the game. That basket has really helped their turnaround from the first half. Look at these numbers, Bobby. Big time reversal that is responsible for their lead here. He completes the three-point play. 
The Nets have it. They haven't hit a shot from the arc. Martin is asking for it in the post. Switch up. Received by Martin. Kittle goes with the fadeaway. Gets back iron and out. Kittles was a victim of bad luck on that one. He did everything right, but that rim just wouldn't cooperate. Smith with the ball. Smith launches from beyond the arc. Can't get it to drop. That's the end of the ball game. Your final score, 32 to 16. Well, that will do it for us tonight. Be sure to tune into Sports Center to catch the latest news, scores, and highlights. Check your local listings for the correct time and channel. That's on ESPN, the worldwide leader in sports. Thanks for joining us here at the ESPN Post Game Show. I'm Clark Dishman. The Spurs come away with a hefty 16-point win over the Nets. They look to be in good form as they prepare for the regular season. The Spurs moved to be just too much tonight. They shot a much higher percentage, and that ended up being the key statistic. David Robinson wound up with a total of 10 points and 7 rebounds. He's our ESPN player of the game. He was the difference tonight. Well, that will do it for now. Make sure to tune in to ESPN during the regular season for all the game's highlights and insight. I'm Clark Dishman. We'll see you then.